Hey guys, Jason Creel here, and this is the Lawn Care Life. Today, I want to talk to you about the shoot block or mulch kit or side discharge. And I'm going to show you the shoot block I've got. We'll talk about the pros and cons of each. And I want to actually demonstrate it uh, with the shoot block closed, and then I want to open it up, and we'll mulch up some leaves and see if we can see a visible difference of how well it works. So uh, before we do that, let's uh, get started just showing you the shoot block, talking to you about the differences, the pros and cons, why I, I do like that. Though I've had a mulch kit, I've had, obviously had side discharge, and I've had a shoot block. I've had all three, so I'm gonna talk about them, and then we'll see what kind of demonstration we can do. So here's the, the shoot block on this one, this advanced shoot system. I've had uh, other types as well, and. Um, this one is real simple. It's basically a big piece of metal with a, a spring and a handle and um, you know, it, it's, it, it's very universal, fits a lot of different kind of mowers and installation is not terribly difficult. But again, you're sitting on the mower and you pull this handle to yourself and it opens it up. So um, let's just talk about it from the sense of a side discharge. Obviously, good thing about a side discharge is it's putting the, the least amount of strain on the mower because you're not keeping the clippings up underneath the jet. So that's great, uh, especially if you have an underpowered mower. It's great if you happen to get in tall grass. It's great if you're in wet grass. I mean, there's some definite advantages to that. The disadvantages are it, with side discharge, you're not mulching the clippings very well. Uh, it's possible that you could be in a situation where you're you're throwing debris into flower beds you might be throwing stuff toward cars or houses or people or what, whatever you know it's not it's safe um, obviously the, the side discharge does have a, a flap on there but again when the debris is coming out at a rapid pace and so it's it's not quite as safe and again the mulching of the clippings is not as good so you know it, you have that to deal with um, so those are kind of the pros and cons. Pros being it, it will uh, go through taller grass, wet grass better, but the not mulching up as um, good because it's not keeping it under the deck. Now, the true mulch kit, you know, if, if you're not familiar with that, let me open this up, but a true mulch kit, or at least what I'm considering mulch kit, will have these um, metal, I think you call them baffles, but basically it's like a, a semicircle, and you have one that would would go from here and, and kind of close this off and you'd have one in here that would be um, closed off where the, the next blade is and the next blade so it basically you can picture each blade is going to have kind of a, a chamber that's going to keep the clippings underneath there and it's just obviously by keeping the clippings underneath there uh, it's going to mulch them up better. Well, that's great if you again if you if your mower's underpowered It's not so great because it's going to be a situation where um, It can bog down your mower if the grass is wet. It's more difficult. So um, Definitely advantage of, of mulching up the clippings, but sometimes I found even when the grass is really thick we have Bermuda grass here and then the, uh, mostly in the summer it gets super thick and if you got the mulch kit, not only can it bog down, but it's still leaving a trail of clippings, and it's leaving a trail every time you make a pass. And so, with a mulch kit, I had to kind of be careful of which way I'm, I'm driving the mower. I don't want to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth in the yard because I'm going to end up leaving a lot of little trails of grass clippings. So I'm going to try to continue to push the clippings toward the inside or toward the outside and run over the same line over and over again. I uh, hope that makes sense. Maybe I can and demonstrate, but see if I was looking at this yard right here and I uh, was, you know, you know, let's just say I was going to go this way. I would um, come, you know, make a pass this way, come back this way, and then come back, make a pass this way, and make a pass this way, and then a little bit further out, pass this way, pass this way. And the whole time, I'm making two lines of clippings that keep getting pushed wider and wider and wider and you're mulching them over every single time. So when you get done, at worst case scenario, if you gotta clean up some clippings with a blower or the mower, whatever, you'd only got two lines to deal with. Where if you just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, you're leaving a line of clippings every single time, which is obviously not good. So the shoot block, advantage of it, and, you, and just you can see how it installs on certain mowers. There, I think this one in particular is made for a bad boy mower, so on a bad boy, it, 
uh, it's made to fit on there, but some of them you have to use these spacers and things to get it to, to fit right. But uh, regardless, if you have the shoot block, you can, it's kind of the best of both worlds. You know, it's the side discharging when you need to. Of course, again, you're even more dangerous here because you don't have a, a rubber flap. So, I mean, even on the thing it says not to side discharge, but, um, you know, occasionally you do. Uh, but usually I'm going to leave it closed. And so when you close this, Duke, hush! So when I close that, now I'm not getting the, the full mulch benefit I would get with an actual, you know, full mulch kit. All I've got is this outside plate. So, you know, pros of that is it's not going to bog down as bad as a, a true mulch kit uh, if the grass is super thick or wet or any, whatever. But uh, also, uh, the cons being, you know, again, it's not going to mulch is quite as good. But it's definitely better than nothing and provides you some serious protection from debris throwing stuff where you don't want to throw so sometimes again if I'm if I'm looking at the yard doing the same pattern let's say I want to go down and come back and then go down and come back and do my lines like that and I keep pushing the lines to the outside when I get done I've got two lines of grass and, and you don't have to do it this way you can do it diagonal and do the same thing after you, you might make a perimeter fat pass first and then do that uh, but anyway if you got two lines then on the last after you get done mowing, you can just open up the side discharge and run over those two lines and disperse those clippings which have been run over multiple times and they kind of disappear. So I find this versatile. Uh, I can open it up in tall grass. I can keep it closed you know, in a normal yard. And I, I like the protection it gives to keep me from throwing stuff into bed. So anyway, that's why, uh, why I put one of these on my mower. So let's try this. Um, I've got some leaves here on the ground, not tremendous amount of leaves, just uh, from these little small oak trees. And I'm gonna set my camera up and we're gonna just run over this with the shoot blocker uh, down and then I'm gonna run over it with the shoot blocker up. And we'll see if we can actually compare the clippings of the actual leaves, the grass is, is going dormant, and see how much better it mulches with it down versus mulching with it up. So first time I'm gonna do it with the shoot blocker down and see if we can watch it and then we're going to um, side discharge it and, and compare the results. So you can see there, I, I mean, again, just look at how good of a job it did mulching up the leaves. I mean, you see, leaves there, leaves there. I mean, it, it really does a great job. I mean, and I don't think it's just pushing them all to the side either. Of course, it is pushing some to the side, but it it does a pretty good job mulching them up. So let's see what we got here. Just a, a sampling. Of course, there's going to be different sizes, but, you know, it, it mulches them up into fairly small pieces. Again, as you run over it and over again, if I was showing you that same pattern and, and going down on the next pass, going down this way and then coming back and going down this way, it's gonna keep re-mulching the clippings over and over and pushing it to the outside. And I'll actually demonstrate that shortly. First, let me uh, put the side discharge up and try that and we'll uh, see if we can compare, um, compare the results and then like I said, I'll do a short demonstration of the mowing pattern I was talking about and how well it would work in mulching leaves in this situation. See how well the uh, lawnmower mulch up my camera, so I had to stop short there. 
So again, you can see it's, it's still cleaning up the leaves, no problem. But I, I do think in this situation, probably um, blowing them more than cleaning them up. So you, you can see, I mean, it, it does, it is cutting them, cut them in half, uh, but but also doing a lot of a lot of blowing as well. So um, anyway. You get the point, and we can demonstrate on grass when the grass is actually growing, but let me uh, do a short demonstration here on the mowing pattern. If I was gonna, um, you know, whether it was grass or leaves, I'm gonna set the camera up right here and show you kind of that pattern where I'm pushing the leaves to the outside and how well that works. makes uh, not a bad leaf cleanup job if you did that with the whole yard obviously I was just doing a sample area and you're going to continue mulching up these piles of leaves more and more to where you, you do get a little bit better um, you know you're you're going over it multiple times and it's getting you some pretty good results and I tell people and I've said this before but even if you're going to bag it if you have a mulching mower and you mulch it first and then you go bag it, it may sound like double the work, but it'll really reduce the amount of bagging that you have to do. And, um, you know, and sometimes people just mulch them and that's fine too. All right, hope it's been informational and learned something. Uh, if you have a comment, go ahead and leave that below about what you like, how you do leaf cleanups. Do you like the mulch kit? Do you like the, the uh, shoe block? Do you like the side discharge pros and cons in your book? And uh, which route you go? Do you have mowers set up different ways? Um, but I also have a lot of resources over at LawnCareLife.com for those of you that are starting a lawn business, thinking about starting one, wanting to get into weed control and fertilization. I have video courses, I have documents, I have programs. I have got a lot of stuff over there. So you check it out at LawnCareLife.com or check out the over 800 lawn care videos on my channel. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so and we'll check you guys next time. Bye.